Hi, my name is Oliver and I'm part of the founding family of Micro. Uh, today, I would uh, like to introduce you the Micro Explorer, our latest flagship e-scooter. With the Micro Explorer, we had one thing in mind, durability. It's the only e-scooter on the market that was uh, designed to last 5,000 kilometers or more. Our engineers worked for more than two years to make this possible. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we have a lot of experience. Um, we are the Swiss company that invented the first kick scooter in the 90s. And I think it's safe to say that we know a thing or two about how to engineer a kick scooter. We also started experimenting with our first electric scooters uh, in the early 2000s. And in 2015, we started the development of our own electric city car, the Microlino, and we could really profit from the experience in the automotive world as well when designing the Explorer. Secondly, it is also the choice of the materials. Um, if you look at the product, we use plastics only where it's absolutely necessary due to production constraints. And everywhere else, we try to use high quality uh, aluminum that makes the scooter light yet robust. Thirdly, um, it's also about uh, the general design and engineering of the scooter. So one example is that we have front and rear suspension. This is not only for your comfort, this is also to minimize the impact on the electronics. Uh, we have a very robust electrical layout on the inside that is really designed to withstand um, even harsh road conditions uh, for a couple of thousands of, of kilometers without any, any major problems. So basically, it's many things that you don't see at first glance, but that really make a difference when it comes to durability of the product. Quality is a very high priority for us, and we really try to use our Swiss quality standards on the Explorer as well. So let's have a look at the scooter itself. So it comes folded, and uh, to unfold it, you simply press down the brake and put it up. Um, this is uh, called the camel mode. So this is basically as an alternative to the kickstand where you can simply uh, put your scooter in camel mode and it stands by itself. To fully unfold it, you need to push the bar all the way up to the front until there is a click sound. And to fold it, um, there are basically two motions needed. So first of all, you need to push the bar forward and at the same time, push down with your foot on the blue latch that you can see on the folding mechanism. This ensures a really easy um, folding and unfolding of the scooter. It takes you one second, you don't need to bend down, and it's really handy if you want to, you know, carry it in the public transportation or inside your car. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the specifications of the Micro Explorer. It has a motor with a maximum power of 500 watts, uh, which is more than most e-bikes have. The motor is powerful enough to get you up to 30 kilometers an hour and can get you up a hill with 15% uh, of steepness. So basically, um, unless you live uh, in alpine terrain, um, it really gets you up pretty much any hill that you, that you want. We do limit the maximum speed country specific. So if you're from Germany, for example, your maximum speed is limited to 20 kilometers an hour. Um, so it really depends on where you're from, but theoretically it can go up to 30 kilometers an hour. One thing about power and speed, some people really think the more the better, but the thing is um, a street legal e-scooter needs to have less than 500 watts and is restricted in most country to either 20, 25 or 30 kilometers an hour. So having more power and more maximum speed really does not make much sense if you want a legal e-scooter. The battery uh, is located inside the deck. Uh, it has a capacity of 280 watt hours and it gets you up to 30 kilometers far. Despite being a really comfortable scooter to ride due to the dual suspension, the Explorer is still light and you can carry it easily. It weighs just 13.5 kilograms and we think it is the ideal combination between comfort and portability. Now, let us have a look at some of the features of the Explorer. We've got our innovative micro twist throttle, which is located on the right side. It's, it is more intuitive than a normal thumb throttle and allows for really precise control of the acceleration. Basically, you can turn it backward like a motorcycle and it accelerates. And by turning it forward, it activates only the regenerative brake and recharges the battery while braking. 
So in many ways, um, and this is something a customer of us said about the um, micro twist throttle, which we've already used in previous generations of our electric scooters, he said that this is like one pedal driving in electric cars uh, because it's really intuitive and it's something that is just much nicer. Um, so this is really one of the cool features of the Explorer that uh, no, no other e-scooter has. In the middle, we have uh, a neat display which displays speed and battery level. You can easily change the different riding modes by simply Clicking the on-off button, there are four different modes that you can use. Um, mode one is called the pedestrian mode. The pedestrian mode is limited to six kilometers an hour and to a maximum power of 250 watt. This is mainly used when, for example, you're um, in town with your friends who are maybe walking. So it's really comfortable at a walking speed where you just cruise along your, your friends. And um, this is something that I very often use if I'm uh, hanging out with friends that don't have an electric scooter with them. The second mode is the eco mode. This is the, basically the mode if you want to maximize your range. It has a maximum speed of 20 kilometers an hour um, and the maximum power of 300 watts. So it's, it's, it's fast, you can, you can use it the, everywhere you want. But of course, this is not the mode if you want to have the maximum power or go up very steep hills. Um, next up, we have the standard mode, which is our mode three. Mode three is basically the mode that I would recommend you use most of the time because it has a pretty good combination of range and of power. It's also limited at 20 kilometers an hour and it goes up, it has a maximum power of 400 watts. And mode four, this is our sport mode. The sport mode is really when you want to experience the full power of the scooter. It has a maximum power of 500 watt. And depending on the country, uh, it gives you a max speed of up to 30 kilometers an hour. Also here, if you're from Germany, for example, it's limited to 20 uh, kilometers an hour because that's the maximum speed allowed in this country. These modes can also be changed in the app, which I'll explain you a little bit later in the video. On the left side of the scooter, you have a handbrake with an integrated bell. Braking with this brake is both activating the regenerative brake and the mechanical drum brake. So me personally, under normal circumstances, I really prefer using um, only the twist throttle as a brake because this is only regenerative brake. It's a little bit smoother. And for most situations, this is okay. Whereas I use the the normal handbrake if I really need to stop in a very short uh, amount of time and this maximizes the, the braking performance. Both handles can be folded down very easily. So you just pull them out and fold them down. This comes handy, especially if you wanna use it inside, if you wanna put it under the seat of, your, of a train, uh, if you wanna uh, carry it in the trunk of a car. So for all these type of use cases, folding the handles is, is really handy. Um, but, you know, when you're riding them, it's still a, a, a large handlebar that gives you all the stability you want in a scooter as fast as this one. You can put the Micro Explorer into any car booth in the world. So even our uh, small electric car, the Micro Eno, it fits even in there because it's really, really compact. Um, and going down, you also see that um, there is the adjustable bar, so you can adjust the height of the, of the bar according to your preferences. Some people like it a little bit lower, some people like it a little bit higher. That's, that's really up to you and that's really up to taste. So next up, um, we have the motor, which is in the front. Um, it's a motor with a peak power of 500 watt. Um, and it's a front wheel hub motor, so it's integrated into the front wheel. There is often some debate whether a front wheel motor or rear wheel motor are better on an e-scooter. Um, and I really think it comes down to taste. The advantage of a front wheel motor is definitely that um, you have a better weight distribution. So let's say if you have your scooter unfolded and you want to carry it up a flight of stairs, um, you know, the, the further away from where you carry the scooter you have the weight, the harder it makes it to carry. So a rear wheel motor is really not so nice if you, if you want to carry your scooter around. And a front wheel motor is, just makes your scooter much, well, much uh, more balanced, in our opinion. It also ensures that you can have the drum brake on the rear wheel, and that's generally better. So you can have the mechanical brake on the rear wheel. It's just much better than having it on the front wheel, which um, 
you know, always has the risk of you tipping over and you cannot maximize braking performance with this. So really my recommendation, this is just a personal um, preference, is to have it in, inside of the, the front wheel. Both wheels are full rubber tires, uh, meaning that they don't need any air and they are basically maintenance free. There's other e-scooters that have uh, air tires. Our take is that uh, with full rubber tires, you first of all have much less maintenance, so that's that's definitely an advantage. You have less rolling resistance because uh, they are a bit harder. And the other thing is that with air tires, even if you if you um, lose just a tiny little bit of air, your rolling resistance becomes even greater, and that means that uh, your range could be um, minimized by up to 50%, um, even if you feel like your your tire is still fully pumped. So. Airless tires really make sense to maximize your range. Um, going back, we also see that there is the drum brake right here integrated into the rear wheel. Um, this is, in general, there's also some debate whether you want um, a disc brake or whether you want a drum brake. Our take is that a drum brake makes more sense from a durability perspective, um, and I explain you why. So the reason is that um, it's a pretty small wheel, and if you have the disc brake uh, on, on, around the wheel, um, if you hit a curb with your rear wheel, there is always the risk that the disc of the disc brake gets bent a little bit, and then you have this noisy sound when you're riding, and it also, in the worst case, it even creates a little bit of friction, and you get less range, less speed, and so on. So this is why we prefer a drum brake, because the braking performance is more than enough, but it really ensures that um, it, it, it's durable for as long as possible, and you don't have any problems with it. As said, the Micro Explorer can be um, connected with the Micro app. Um, it's a Bluetooth connection, so you can simply download the app in the App Store and connect it to your scooter. Um, there's a separate video that explains all the setup mode in depth. Um, maybe just a couple things about the app. So one of the most important things about the app is that there is a diagnostics mode. So you can very easily um, check uh, the status of different electrical components on the product. So if, for example, you have a problem with the motor, you would imme immediately see it on the app. And this also helps us because, you know, the, the, as said, the goal with the Explorer was to make a scooter as durable as possible. And in case there is a problem, we really want to make sure that it's fixed uh, in a very fast and efficient way. And the app with the diagnostics mode really helps us do this. The second thing that's really cool about the app is that um, you can lock your scooter electrically. So basically, if you go into a store, you don't, you don't have a lock with you. You can just uh, quick lock it with the app, and there is an electrical lock. So basically, if there's a thief and he wants to steal it, um, you really cannot ride with a scooter. So it, it just breaks automatically. So it's pretty much unusable, and you can also not unlock it unless uh, you, you do it with your own phone. So it's basically um, a useless product for the thief. Um, if, for example, you have a lock with you, um, the idea is that it's, a sec it's kind of a second security level. So it's not just a lock, but you also got the uh, electrical lock uh, that can be activated with the app that acts as a second security level. Last but not least, uh, the Explore is really designed to be um, adjustable according to your personal preferences and, and, and how you like it. Um, for example, on this screw here, right at the drum brake, um, you can um, adjust the hardness of the drum brake. The second thing is you can also make the suspension um, adjusted to, to make it softer or harder. Um, also here, in general, it's more uh, a medium setting that we have. Beware also that the suspension tends to get a little bit softer the, the longer you, you ride the scooter. So that's also why we have it more in the, in the medium setting. Yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching.